Hi, welcome to this episode. Today I am going to be talking about compound clips. Now before I go into compound clips, let me explain just a little bit about a clip and what's, what's, you know, what I have on my um, Da Vinci screen right now. If you look at my screen, I have two clips. I have two clips. This is one clip right over here, as you can see it on the screen. It's a guy um, you are doing some editing. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, Premiere Pro. Oh my God, I totally forget. Anyway, but he's doing some uh, video editing. And then if I play it, you can see it's going to go to the next clip, okay? So I have two clips uh, next to each other right now. Now, what happens is if I want to make a compound clip, that means I can two, take these two clips and I can merge it together. I can make it like one big clip. So I'm simply going to select both of them. I'm using my mouse to select both of them. Then I'm going to right click on my mouse and it's going to open up a window. All the way on the top, the first option is going to be new compound clip. So I'm going to click that new compound clip and then it's going to ask me compound clip number one uh, do I want to leave it the, the way it is uh, if I want I can um, you know change the name so in this case let me uh, just write uh, scene one for example okay and I'm going to hit create so you'll notice that on the timeline both those clips are now merged into one clip so that means if I go over here uh, you can see it's playing <coughs> and it goes up to the next clip. Okay, perfectly fine, nothing wrong there. Now, let's say you want to undo it. That means you kind of want to go back to the original two. So instead of going and cutting, like instead of going over here and trying to find it and trying to cut it and all that nonsense, you could go to the clip and then you can right click and then you can go to the option that says decompose in place, which is basically the fifth one from the top. So you see it says, all the way there and there it is decompose in place so when I click it I get back my two clips the original two clips now this is such a great feature because what happens is in this case you see I'm using just uh, you know a simple timeline with two really small clips but let's say you are working on a project that is kind of big like maybe five ten minutes and has more than 10 20 clips and and titling and uh, you know music A, music B and all that kinds of stuff. What happens is it ends up becoming too many clips and then it's like hard to manage and you might move things around here and there. You may not like it because suddenly you're working over here but you disturb another clip over there. It becomes a total mess. So that's why compound clips is actually a very good feature. All you have to do is simply merge it together and that way you have one clip. Now let's say if I want to do something a little bit different, still in compound clip, I have this scene over here, the second clip. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cut it. That means I'm going to cut that piece and I am going to take that clip, I'm going to move it up and I'm going to move it a little bit over here. So that way I have basically an A, B roll. So if I go here and if I play, you will notice I'm going from the guy who's talking, I mean the guy who's basically editing to his like, second view and then back to the original view, just like this. and it goes back to him again. Okay, so now I could also take those two clips and make it a compound clip too. I can go up and I can make it as a new compound clip. And there you go. It's become a compound clip right over there. And that's perfectly fine and that's what most people actually do. And then if I want to go back and reverse it, you know, go back to its uh, two piece, I can go all the way up to decompose in place. There you go, I'm back to my original. So I hope you found this information um, uh, useful. Uh, it's such a great way of editing because it allows you to actually play with so many pieces up and down. Uh, as you can see in my timeline right now, I have no audio, it's just only the video. But when you're doing sound design and you have so many pieces of audio, sound design is actually very cool. And you have so many pieces of audio and you compound it together because you really want to handle it better, like maintaining all these you know, thousands of pieces all together in one place. And then of course, if you want to go back there and make small changes, guess what? You can decompose in place and you can go back and readjust and then you can compound it all over again. It's such a great feature. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.